This is a first generation Surface Go from Microsoft, and while it sucks at running Windows 10 and is not supported by Windows 11, it can run the latest and greatest Linux distros just fine. But can it also run games? Of course it can. Gaming on this little thing can look like this, or like this, and also like this. But more on gaming later. Hardware-wise, it has a weak, passively cool dual-core Intel CPU, but at least it has hyper-threading. Additionally to that, it has 8GB of RAM and a 128GB SSD. The 10-inch IPS screen looks really good even by today's standards. There was also a lesser version available with only 4GB of RAM and 64GB storage. Regarding the other hardware like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, everything works out of the box. Even the ambient light sensor and the rotation sensor. The only thing that do not work are the cameras. Luckily there's a special surface kernel to fix this, but since I don't need the cameras I didn't even bother. Before we talk about the gaming performance, let's talk about the performance in general. I choose Ubuntu 24.04, which is snappy enough considering the weak hardware. To be honest, this was surprising to me, considering how bad Windows 10 ran on it. Sometimes it was almost snappy, but other times, even opening the browser or the app store took minutes and the whole thing froze. Using Ubuntu, browsing the web in Firefox is also okay-ish. Some complex websites like YouTube take some time to open, but it's not too bad and still usable. Video playback on YouTube had some frame drops even at 1080p, but this is not really noticeable without the stats. Still, this was a bit surprising to me, considering that my old Optiplex with an older CPU played even 4K YouTube videos without frame drops. I will link the Optiplex video in the description if you want to check it out yourself. If you're considering buying a Surface Go for yourself, I would strongly recommend the GNOME desktop environment for this device, because it has really good touch support which makes this little machine usable as a tablet on the couch for surfing the web or watching videos. When using it as a tablet device, the screen rotation works fine and can be locked. Also, if no hardware keyboard is attached, the virtual keyboard will pop up when needed. With that out the way, let's talk about the gaming performance. The first game on the list is Bioshock, which was really playable. With 720p and a medium preset, the game ran fine between 40 and 60 FPS most of the time. During the whole opening section, no matter if on the water, under the water in the capsule, or in Rapture, the performance was everywhere about the same. Personally, I would lock it to 40 and play it with a consistent frame rate. Next up is the Castle of Illusion. It dipped sometimes under 60 at 720p, but this was not too dramatic and not really noticeable without the frame rate overlay. Lowering the resolution resulted in a locked 60, but the visual downgrade is not worth the trade-off in my opinion. This game is really a good fit for this device, especially on the couch with a controller. To be honest, the darkness too ran worse than expected. At 720p and everything on medium, it dipped constantly under 30 FPS. Setting everything to low had no effect on the frame rate. With the willingness to suffer, it can be played with a 30 FPS lock, but I would not recommend it on this device. The next game on the list is Half Life 2, which ran really good as expected. 720p with settings on the higher side ran depending on the scene between 50 and 80 FPS. The only downside was that when the game was loading new sections, the frame rate was lower than usual and a bit stuttery, but this was not permanent and the settings could also further be reduced to prevent this a bit. Portal ran also really well on the Surface Go. The settings need to be lower than on Half-Life 2 while maintaining the 720p resolution. But the game still looks good. The frame rate hovers between 40 and 60 FPS most of the time. Portal 2 ran with 720p low settings between 50 and 70 FPS. It tends to stutter from time to time, but this was not too distracting and I would consider this game more than playable. Overall, I was quite happy with the performance of the Surface Go. For a 6 years old, passively cool tablet PC that was underpowered at release, it is still usable for light couch gaming and web browsing with a modern Linux distribution. Thanks for watching and if you liked this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. See you in the next one.